Hollywood A-listers Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly hired Sony Pictures alumna Farah Taylor to lead the marketing for their new media company, Artule. Taylor, the former vice president of global marketing partnerships at Sony Pictures, joined the Duke and Duchess company in September 2021 as the head of marketing. At the company, she reportedly oversees all global marketing efforts for Artule's three divisions, Artule Productions, which has an exclusive deal with Netflix, Artule Audio, which has an exclusive content pact with Spotify, and the non-profit Artule Foundation. At the company, she reportedly oversees all global marketing efforts for Artule's three divisions, Artule Productions, which has an exclusive deal with Netflix, Artule Audio, which has an exclusive content pact with Spotify, and the non-profit Artule Foundation. Taylor reportedly joined the team of Artule, which also comprises COO Mandana Diani, Executive Director James Holt, Head of Content Ben Browning, Head of Artule Audio Rebecca Sonanez, Head of Unscripted Chanel Pasnick and Senior Vice President of Scripted Television Nishika Kumble, after she spent over a decade at Sony Pictures. While there, Taylor worked on a number of high-profile projects, including the marketing for blockbusters like Spider-Man, Homecoming and several James Bond films. Taylor began her career at the management consulting firm Accenture, and worked in marketing roles at Paramount Pictures and DreamWorks Animation before joining Sony Pictures Entertainment in 2011, according to her LinkedIn, which still lists her as the Vice President of Global Marketing Partnerships at Sony. Taylor is also a founding member of I Am A Voter, a non-profit civic organization that was founded by current Archule COO Diani, who joined the team just three months before Taylor. Diani reports directly to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and oversees growth strategy and day-to-day -day operations at the company. She said at the time that she joined the company because I am so inspired by the vision and unwavering dedication of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to create a more united, truthful, safe and equitable world. I am thrilled to build upon our shared mission to drive systemic cultural change. Another news, a service of thanksgiving for the life of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was held earlier this week on Tuesday. In attendance were almost all the key members of the British royal family, alongside British officials and members of various European royal families. One notable absentee was the Duke of Sussex, and, of course, his wife, Meghan Markle. The prince refused to come to the UK without police protection. Journalist Andrew Pierce highlighted in a post on Twitter, four kings and three queens from European royal families at Prince Philip's service, but no Prince Harry. His absence is insulting to the memory of his grandfather. Around 30 foreign royals are reported to have attended the service in total, including Denmark's Queen Marguerite, Spain's King Felipe VI and Queen Letizia, King and Queen of Sweden and the King and Queen of the Belgians. Ms. Levin responded to Mr. Pierce's tweet, he didn't even bother to find a meaningful excuse. In an earlier post, she added, so many foreign royals coming to show their respect for Prince Philip at the Thanksgiving service. None of them seem anxious about protection except army man Harry. Telegraph associate editor Camilla Tomini suggested in an article earlier this year the vocal debate over security may not be as clear-cut as it appears. In a piece titled Perhaps Meghan Just Doesn't Want to Visit the UK, she wrote, Maybe what the Sussexes are really trying to tell us is that Meghan categorically doesn't want to come to the UK. While Prince Harry did not attend the service dedicated to the life of his grandfather, it is understood he will be present at the Invictus Games in Holland next month. He is now pursuing legal action against the Home Office over his protection in the UK. His legal representative stated earlier this year private security cannot replicate the necessary police protection needed whilst in the UK. They added, in the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. Speculation is now likely to abound over whether the prince will travel to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee celebrations later this year, in June.